Hello artists. Today we're going to make an observational drawing of leaves. So the first thing I did here was pick out some colors and I picked out colors inspired by the leaves I was looking at, but you can also pick different colors. They don't have to be realistic. And all I'm doing here is looking at the outline of the leaf and as my eye moves around the leaf, I'm letting my crayon follow the same shape that my eye is making. So my eye is almost like drawing a line around the outline and I'm just letting my hand move around the page like my eye is moving around the leaf. So just looking and drawing and the more you practice this, the easier it gets. And this looks like I'm drawing super, super fast just because I sped it up, um, but it will probably take you a little bit longer because you're not moving in fast motion, um, but that's okay. We can really take our time. I just sped it up so you can see the process. And I'm drawing the little veins and lines that I see inside of each leaf. Um, some of the little smaller details that I've noticed, the veins that go in between the bigger veins. I also want you to notice that I'm filling up my whole page with these leaves. I want to create a picture that is full of interesting things to look at. Um, and when you are creating your picture and deciding where everything goes, that's called making a composition. So I want my composition to be full and interesting to look at. So I'm adding leaves that even go behind some of the other leaves and some that go on top of others. They can overlap. And I'm also just having fun with trying different colors, using different leaf shapes. Um, when we start adding color using watercolor, um, you're gonna see that it's kind of like you created your own coloring book. So the more shapes and leaves that you draw, the more fun you're gonna have filling in your coloring book. You can also experiment with white crayon. You're gonna see in the next clip what that looks like when you paint over it. All right, now it's your turn. So here is a peek ahead to the next step of this project. I've drawn out quickly a couple of leaves using crayon, and now I'm painting over them in watercolor. And what happens is, because the crayon is made of wax, and wax and water do not get along, the paint only sticks to the paper where there's no crayon. So it creates this very cool effect. And it's, it's maybe the most magical when you use the white crayon because it really looks invisible until you paint over it. And then it suddenly appears. So this is a really fun way to draw all those details that you see in the veins and then still be able to paint over them and still see those details coming through. These two leaves that I'm pointing at in the video, that's what happens if you color in the whole thing with crayon and then try to paint over it. 